if something is important enough you do it even if the odds are stacked against you okay and going to the icpc world finals was so important for me because all i had done in the last 2.5 years was competitive programming hi everyone welcome back to the channel i am a competitive programmer with over 3 years of experience uh, i am also a master on code forces and a six star coder on codechef so today i am going to be talking about a topic which is very close to my heart and is also kind of a very sensitive topic for me yes uh, this video is going to be about my icpc journey for those of you who are hearing these four letters together for the first time icpc or the international collegiate programming contest is the most prestigious and hardest programming competition at the university level so much so that it is sometimes also regarded as the olympics of programming you know so it all started for me in the first year of my college uh, wherein i was introduced to icpc for the first time by a few friends uh, while we were sitting in the college canteen that day i got to know that only at max one team from each college and around 7 to 8 teams from the whole country get to go to the icpc world finals now at that time i had no experience at all in competitive programming and being from iit delhi uh, you know i was well aware of the kind of competition that i was up against uh, and so i was quite intimidated to be honest mm, i thought that you know going to the world finals is not something that i should ever even target Uh, so in my third semester uh, when i started doing competitive programming seriously my aim was a very modest and realistic one okay i simply wanted to compete in code forces rounds and beat a few of my batchmates who i thought were at a similar level as me as far as you know iq level is concerned uh, so yeah uh, that's how it all started for me uh, in my second year uh, i was very underconfident and as a result i didn't even take part in icpc seriously Uh, since i thought you know that this is something that is totally out of my reach uh, so i'll be talking about the two serious attempts that i made in my third and fourth years respectively uh, it was april 2022 and my sixth semester had just ended i was pumped up since it was time to get back to doing cp after a week of getting extremely bored by studying for college exams you know uh, at this point again uh, my main goal was to do well on code forces and to try and become a master as soon as possible Uh, and as far as icpc was concerned i had not even formed a team by then okay uh, me and my friend ariman were definitely going to be together uh, since you know we both started doing cp together and have always complimented and helped out in each other's journeys now you might say that not even having a final team 4 months prior to the prelims was something which is very careless on our part and it pretty much was okay but you also need to understand that you know it is quite hard to stay motivated and consciously put in efforts over something that you know inside your head is almost impossible to achieve uh, nevertheless uh, we started reaching out to competitive programmers and after a week of seeking people out we were finally able to find a third member for our team so uh, he was also a candidate master just like both of us and was also an upcoming intern at jane street uh so yeah uh, we finally had a well balanced team and it looked like we were all set to do quite well in the upcoming prelims well not really uh the fatal mistake that we made was not doing team practice at all okay all three of us were practicing hard uh, no doubt about that uh, we were practicing hard individually taking part in contests etc uh, but we never really sat together and solved any you know five hour long practice contests Okay so fast forward to the day of the prelims uh, we performed horribly out of the seven problems we could barely manage to solve four and ended up with a rank of 98 however we did manage to qualify for the kanpur regionals uh, owing to the exceptional performance of other teams from itd uh, putting them in top 10 and removing them from the rank list uh, due to which we became the best team outside top 10 from it delhi okay so uh, a month later on 30th september we found ourselves traveling to kanpur for the regionals now before the contest i wasn't particularly nervous and i just wanted to enjoy myself you know meet all the people that i follow and take inspiration from on code forces and simply enjoy myself making the most out of the regional experience okay so i wasn't thinking much about my team's performance in the contest okay well then the following day the clock hit 10 and the contest finally started but we uh, never really felt comfortable in the entire 5 hour duration okay and as expected our performance was not good at all we ended up solving only 5 out of the 10 problems uh, however there are a few things that bothered me a lot so we took seven penalties on a problem which involved a simple modification of dijkstra's algorithm 
Our third teammate kept submitting a minor bug and we kept on piling those 20 minute penalties until I finally decided to rewrite the entire solution from scratch which passed in the first attempt okay So on top of that I had the right idea for another problem but I did not trust myself because the problem had very few solves and I decided to not go ahead with it okay All in all after the contest I was devastated because you know i knew that we could have easily solved at least seven problems and made it to the asia west continent finals okay uh, all the pre contest excitement that i had that turned into well regret okay so that day i promised myself that i will work extremely hard and give it all that i've got to prepare for my final icpc attempt okay so after an embarrassingly bad performance in the kanpur regionals in october i spent the next two months contemplating over it and along with preparing for my on campus placements obviously so uh, once they were over in december i shifted my entire focus towards icpc okay so me and ariban were quite motivated this time and i had also become a master on code forces giving me a huge confidence boost we were also lucky enough to find a strong third teammate viraj who was also a master but more than that the best part of it all was that all three of us were very comfortable and friendly with each other okay something which was surely lacking last time which allowed us to freely discuss our solutions and ideas with each other okay uh, and another gold mine that we had this time was the experience and mistakes that we made in our last attempt okay so we knew that more than individual efforts icpc is all about teamwork okay and so we spent a hell lot of a time doing practice and solving you know 5 hour long icpc style contests from the code forces gym i mean i still remember we all used to skip our classes and sometimes even our labs and assemble in my hostel room to do contests discuss problems and what not okay so yeah now i was doing all of this by sacrificing a lot of fun that i could have had in my final year uh, you know since i had already completed most of our college courses and i had also grabbed a stable placement offer uh but the funny part of it all was that deep down we knew that the chances of us even qualifying for the regionals were pretty damn low okay the competition at itd had increased multifolds from last time and we knew at least three teams that were you know fundamentally better than us okay so what i'm trying to say here is that you know it took a lot of courage from my side to go for icpc prep i mean i even missed out on a few trips with my friends including a goa trip you know since it was clashing with the prelims but then as they say if something is important enough you do it even if the odds are stacked against you okay and going to the icpc world finals was so important for me because all i had done in the last 2.5 years was competitive programming and i just wanted to get out of college with some sense of achievement in the field you know that would make me feel as if i did something worthwhile in the last 30 months right So yeah, uh, we continued to put in long hours practicing for the next 3 and a half months and uh, by March our team coordination had become extremely good and we became quite confident that we were among the top 10 teams in the country, okay? So the only barrier standing in our way to the world finals was the team called Audit Pass from our college. So we knew that they too were practicing very hard and they were anyways much much stronger than us, okay? they had two high masters and one grand master as compared to our team's two masters and one candidate master okay so we were aware that the world finals was still a very far fetched dream for us and uh, another incident worth mentioning here is that you know the audit pass team they had also participated in the previous years asia west continent finals uh, where they finished at the 15th place okay and unfortunately for them and more so for us the top 14 teams qualified to the world finals on top of that they missed out on getting ac on a problem simply because they were not taking the input and you know they were still somehow passing the samples so if they had just taken the input for that problem they would have qualified to the world finals and since the 2022 and 2023 world finals are going to be a combined event they would not have been eligible for the upcoming icpc paving the way for other teams from itd right anyways uh, the preparation phase passed and it was finally time for the kanpur mathura prelims on 18th march Now I was extremely nervous and ended up sleeping for only 3 hours the night before and it was also raining heavily in Delhi that day and to top it all Viraj got stuck in traffic <laughs> so the next 30 minutes were you know just too stressful for us uh, and somehow Viraj made it to the hostel room just 30 seconds before the contest started okay cool so now surprisingly the Kanpur Mathura prelims was what you call a typical speed forces contest okay so the problems were just very easy and it all got down to your speed of solving problems 
and luckily we were able to solve all the problems in around 35 minutes and we ended up with a rank 12 and comfortably qualified for the regionals along with audit pass of course who were ranked 5th okay fast forward to 8th april the day before the regionals all six of us traveled to mathura together and uh, my anxiety was at its peak the whole day you know and as expected i couldn't really sleep for more than 3 hours so the only option left for me was to intoxicate myself with a lot of red bull and so i did okay so finally the clock struck 9 and the contest started but this time uh, we knew all the mistakes that we needed to avoid and all of us were very well aware of our responsibilities okay we were also quite efficient in dividing the computer time among ourselves you know since they only give one system to each team right so yeah uh, we started off pretty well so we were solving problems at regular intervals and by 2 hours we were done with six problems and we were ranked second in the leaderboard okay so in fact for the most part of the contest in the first 3 hours both teams from iitd had captured the top two positions us being second obviously right so yeah uh, but thereafter things started to become shaky for us okay we got stuck on a problem and guess what it was again a dijkstra related problem <laughs> So yeah, uh, we kept getting wrong answer and we were just hopelessly looking at the code, you know, trying to figure out what on earth could have gone wrong here, right? Meanwhile, Ariman and Viraj were working on other problems too, uh, but from time to time they were also trying to help me debug and after a long time of staring at the code and looking for problems, I finally realized that I had, you know, missed to take care of a very very stupid corner case and we finally got AC on it after the 4 hour mark. and by then uh, we were just too late to have a good enough chance of solving any other problem you know but nevertheless uh, i still tried to code up the eighth problem which involved digit dp and binary search but its implementation simply got too long and messy for me to finish on time okay and we ended the contest with seven problems in our basket and the scoreboard was frozen and we were expecting a rank between 8 and 12 but uh, to our surprise when the leaderboard got unlocked our rank dropped by only one okay it went from 3 to four so yeah it took us a few minutes to let it sink uh, but yeah uh, we felt really really good when we realized that we were actually ranked fourth in the prestigious icpc regionals a contest which involved top teams from all over the country right uh, however uh, it did not take much time for our happiness to fade away because the other team from iitd was sitting right at the top of the leaderboard with a rank of 1 okay at that moment all those memories of practicing and grinding for hours just flashed before my eyes being fourth and still not qualifying sucked to be honest but still i put a smile on my face and congratulated the other team since you know they were definitely more deserving than us uh, later that day uh, we all again went back to delhi together and i did not utter a single word in the entire journey uh, for some reason uh, i went back home from my hostel in the evening and i slept off for the next 10 hours straight <laughs> So yeah that was it uh, my final icpc attempt was over just like that and i had failed <laughs> uh, many people ask me whether or not i regret giving time to icpc when i could have done so much more my simple answer to the question is no okay as i always say i am someone who values the journey more than the end result okay and i think that putting in so much effort for icpc getting fourth rank and still not going to the world finals has made me a much stronger person emotionally and obviously has also improved my competitive programming skills drastically you know uh, in the end i would say that i am proud of myself for trying to achieve something which you know seemed daunting to a lot of people going to the world finals was probably not meant for me but if given the chance i will be willing to go through the entire journey all over again so yeah uh, with that we have come to the end of the video I hope it inspired you to take up something that you think is very difficult and scares the hell out of you. You know because at the end of the day the worst that can happen is failure and failure only makes us stronger. All right then that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.